Hey guys, I am back with another video, and happy Sunday. So, yeah, um, so about a few months ago, I told you guys I, now, to be honest, some of y'all have been wondering, how did I get that, like, Kenny Omega figure? Well, I just sold a few things to GameStop, but besides the point, um, this video is going to be like a, like, this little thing I want to talk about is going to be about why I sold WWE 2K20. Um, oh gosh. I mean, I met, and everybody hated the game when it came out, because it was glitchy, uh, you Barely get any DLC out of it. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, horrible looks in the game, like John Cena with the gross haircut, The Rock, who Sword looked nothing like The Rock in the game. And a few wrestlers who are no longer part of the E, like Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins, Rusev, were no longer part of the E because they got released from their contracts during quarantine. But, uh, yeah, so, um, can y'all actually blame me? I mean, I literally had, literally had no choice selling the game. I mean, and to be honest, like, in my opinion, it was, like, worse or, worse or than Sonic the Hedgehog from 2006. You know, the reboot version of Sonic the Hedgehog with, Modern day Sonic with the green eyes and all that. Like, color eyes. But, and Duke Nukem Forever, which that game's been in development and been redone almost nine times. But, what I can guarantee is the worst of them all, of all has to be WWE 2K20. I mean, yes, like, years later. We it got him better for 2K22 because we had like better DLC characters than how we did in 2K20. And for this year's game that I just unboxed like the day after the deluxe edition has bad bunny for pre-order DLC. Once you pre-order uh, WWE 2K23. But anyway guys. um, If you guys have played the horrible WWE 2K20. What's your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And have a gr great day.